Did you ever take high school economics? I'm talking 11th grade. Well, today we're going to be talking about some of those concepts that you were supposed to learn back then, but instead you're learning in February of 2023. How is that relevant? Well, my friends, I'm going to show you how it figures in, factors in, and plays into today's housing market right here in Northeast Ohio. Let's talk about four important economic factors that they tried to teach you in 11th grade, but don't worry, you got me teaching them to you right here and now. One is unemployment, one is GDP, one is inflation, and one is housing market. Let me show you what I mean. One, unemployment. We are looking for unemployment to be 6% or less. That's because at that number, anybody who's looking for a job has one, there might be people in the 6% who are technically unemployed, but those people are also really not looking for a job. Our current unemployment number is 3.5%. So we're in good shape there. Now, let's talk about GDP, gross domestic product. You remember that, it's a cumulative of everything in the United States. So your gross domestic product, we want to be 2% or more. And our current GDP, gross domestic product, domestic product is at 2.9%. So we're right on target there. Hi, really great stuff, right? Uh, now our friend inflation. Mm. Inflation, we're looking to be 2% or less. If you've walked into a store lately, you know that groceries are crazy and the inflation is really not where it should be. Inflation right this minute is at 6.45%. And now, for our purposes, let's talk about housing values. Housing values, you want up year over year by about 4%. Now, you know, if you were around in um, 2008, 2008, I don't really know why I said it like that. If you were around in 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, the housing market was collapsing piece by piece by piece till it had that dramatic collapse and it was not going up by 4%. And that was really painful for a lot of people. However, looking at the big picture, that 4% increase over time has definitely been in place. And right this minute, we are up, up by about 7% in housing value. So really what we're seeing is a very interesting thing in the housing market. Housing market prices are good. Unemployment is great. The GDP is good. The only thing that's running rampant right this second, which I know you already know, is inflation, which means that your dollar that you worked hard to earn goes less far in every single context, including housing. So that's a little bit hard for some people, meaning you might not be able to buy at that exact level that you had hoped to purchase at, especially as prices are increasing by 7%. So it's kind of an interesting challenge to find a house, to get it, your house priced appropriately for today's buyer and to kind of factor in all the components that make us understand the big picture of housing in February, 2023 in Northeast Ohio. So what I'll tell you is from our vantage point today, there are six single family homes on the market in Beechwood. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get into statistics in every single neighborhood, but I am seeing less and less and less inventory. But again, it's February. If you're thinking you're gonna list your house in June, July or August, because that's the summer, technically true. As far as real estate is concerned, that's actually already the fall. If you're listing your house for the summer market, listen to me and listen good. If you're listing for summer market, you should be listing in March, April, or May, because anybody who's moving here in May or June pretty much already knows it. And those that don't will know it very, very soon. So scurry around, get your stuff cleaned up, depersonalize, declutter, clean, 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 get your house ready. And for my sweet first time home buyers, we love you. We want to help you find the right home in the right location that suits your lifestyle and your needs, taking into account all of the economic conditions and helping you understand that year over year over year, your house will increase in value and the economy or the economics, you might say, of home ownership really will pay out for you. So instead of being nervous, don't worry, I've got you covered with these tips for first time home buyers.